Love is in the air. Oh, sorry, sorry, guys. All right, so what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Michael here, and today is Valentine's Day, and I'm just going to show you how easy it is to create a really cool, simple Valentine's post. So if you have a business and you want to just tell your, your fans, your customers, Happy Valentine's Day, I'm going to show you how I created this really simple easy valentine's post which i will also be using in my emails to send out to my customers all right so let's jump right into it so we start off by going up to file new so we're going to create a eight by eight um, inch document so eight by eight set the re resolution to 300 pixels and then hit OK. So the first thing we want to have is Valentine. So let's grab our text tool, Valentine. So capital V A. So currently the the everything is on caps. So we go over to a character and we turn off bold, tilt, and the all caps option. So Valentine's, all right, hit apply, bring that to the center of the screen, make that a bit bigger. And then we're going to select our text tool again and highlight everything. And the font that I'll be using is actually called Valentine. So search for Valentine's, Valentine regular. And then I'm going to go back to our character options because I noticed that my V here is very bold. So I'm going to turn off everything again. All right, hit apply. And that looks good to me. All right, so I'm also going to scale it up a bit. And then I'm going to grab my text tool and I'm going to add in happy so happy capital all caps for all all the letters for the word so happy and we're going to change that to a sans serif font so go back to characters and for the class I'm going to use sans serif and I'm basically looking for a font that is slim. All right. All right, so for now, I'll work with this one. Hit apply. And we close that. So now we're going to bring that down. And if you hear some noise in the background, you're, you're actually hearing my, my two daughters. I think they are watching our video. All right. So we have that. So now we're going to duplicate. So I'm going to show you a real quick trick. You can hold with the layer selected, which is the happy. I'm going to hold alt until you see the cursor turns into this option. Then you click and drag. And that's a quick way to duplicate. Um, any layer, any text, any any image on a document. So bring that down, bring it to the right, and then select the text tool, highlight everything, and then we're going to call this one day. Good? Looking good so far. So now we're going to, we notice that we have some, some cool tricks going on with the, with the font Valentine's. So basically I've duplicated, it's a series of duplication and, and offsetting. So I'm going to show you how I, how I did that real, real, real quick. So select the Valentine's layer and then we're going to press, well, for the sake of you, I'm going to right click and duplicate layer and hit okay. And with the both text still being aligned, I'm going to Click the text tool, select the bottom most layer or the top most layer, whichever one you desire. 
and then we're going to highlight it and now I'm going to make it another shade of red, a lighter shade of red. So just like this. All right, then hit apply. Now we're going to go over to our pen tool and I'm going to use this pen tool to create a curved shape going through the center of the, the, the text. And so let me show you how. So click, then click, then drag to create a curved line. Then click again, drag, and then I'm going to go around and then connect it until you see the circle. And be sure to, to have this on shape and not path. Else this, it can work that way, but the technique I'm using actually uses shape. So now we created a new shape layer and then we hit OK. So what I'm now going to do, I'm going to use the shape layer to create a, to make a new selection. So to do this, I'm going to hold command. If you're using Windows, you're going to hold control. So with that shape layer selected on the square section of the layer, I'm going to hold command until you see that happens. When you click that, now it will create a selection. And then you go to the top Valentine's layer with the selection still on and I'm going to create a new layer mask. So go to that Valentine's font and then hit create mask, vector mask. And there we have it. We have we now have that effect. <clears throat> Sorry about that. We now have that effect. All right. So let's see what else. So we notice that the red on our new design is a bit darker than the one on our original design. So let's quickly address that. So it's really the go back to our text tool, select the bottom Valentine's layer, highlight everything, and we're going to make it a slightly lighter red than what is there. Then we're going to copy the code for that font. Sorry. Made a mistake there, it jumped off. All right, so right click copy, and then we're going to apply it to our other fonts. And just simply Control V to paste it there. Select everything in. Or another quick way is to use the picker tool. So instead of pasting it here, you can actually click right there and you will still get that same font being sampled. All right, so now we notice that there's this whitish light color um, layer behind the Valentine's layer, which is just a duplicate. So I'm going to select the bottom Valentine's layer and then we're going to duplicate it again, right? So this time, select the bottommost Valentine's layer. We're going to select the text tool, highlight everything. So I'm actually highlighting the lower, the lowest Valentine's font. Click the 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 color picker tool, and we're going to make it a light light. I'm sorry, selected the wrong layer again. So this is the layer that we should have selected. The bottom most Valentine's layer with the font, font, um, the text tool selected, we're going to change the color to a light, a light red. Then with the selection tool selected, we're going to select it, then bring it down, then to the right. And that's looking good so far. And then we're going to duplicate the layer again. So that the bottom most Valentine's layer again. So a lot of duplicating and selecting the bottom most because here we're going to add in this last stroke that goes around it. Select the text tool, select the bottom most one, then go up to the color picker. Then we're going to select a darker red 
and then we're going to select the pick tool so that we can move it the move tool rather and then bring it down and offset it a bit and there we have that effect which is pretty similar similar to this one right I think it's looking a bit strong so I'm going to change the color select pick a tool go up to this and I'm going to sample this red good all right so we're following so far pretty nicely all right so now to add in these hearts so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to go to Google I think I went ahead and actually found the heart so I search vector heart this is the heart that we're going to use right click copy and then jump back into Photoshop and I'm going to paste it there so select the topmost layer Control V command V on the Mac paste now we're going to take our magic one tool and remove this white background from the heart so select it hit delete of course ensure that sample all layer is off unchecked all right so there we have it command or control D to deselect and then go back to our move tool and then we're going to do some sizing and pretty much randomly placing the the heart all over all over the design so we have three down here and three four up here so move it around and size it as you as you would like click so I'm holding alt click and drag to quickly duplicate the layers alt and then hit enter to apply alt click and drag and then we're going to bring a few alt click drag and I'm going to rotate it this direction alt click drag I'm going to size this down so as you see I'm not even trying to mimic this exactly as is I'm just showing you the te techniques involved alt alt click drag rotate this this direction and I'm going to move it into the <clears throat> into this space here control Z to undo that all right and then perhaps I can add another one over this side so I'll click drag all right so size this up all right that's looking good so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to select all of these heart layers because if you notice there are some faded hearts in the background so I'm going to select all my heart layers so I do this by going to the the bottommost one going all the way to the top hold shift then click so this selects everything I'm going to add them to our group let's call this group hearts then I'm going to duplicate this group hit OK and then call this group faded hearts so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring down this faded hearts group almost to the bottom just above the this background layer and now I'm going to size it down and I'm also going to reduce the opacity of it so to about 30 percent all right hit apply 
I'm going to turn off auto select and then so that I can move it around a bit. Alt, Alt and drag, move this run one down like this. So sort of randomly placing it. If you wish, you can individually move the hearts and you would do that by ensuring that auto select is on and then you select the desired heart that you want to move and you can use the, the mouse, the arrow keys to actually move it or you can simply click, zoom in and move it to any desired, any desired location. So you can go ahead and play around with that. I'm just quickly trying to show you the techniques involved. For this, I noticed that I didn't have any of the faded hearts overlapping the Valentine's words. So I'm going to do that. So there's a, there's a heart right here. I'm going to move it away from it. This one here. All right, so my selection tool is, my selection rather, my shape is being selected. So perhaps I'll have to select the layer manually. So go back to the faded heart and cycle through until I reach that one. Okay, this, there we have it. All right. Any more faded hearts? And if you're celebrating Valentine's Day today, uh, let me say happy Valentine's to you and yours truly. Um, the day has its history, but you know, it's still a wonderful opportunity to, to share some love, irrespective of the history behind it. You know, how I view things, a day is what you make it to be, you know? All right, so there we have this. So what we notice, we notice that this also had a background, a gradient background. So to create this, we're going to select the background layer. Just above that, we're going to create a new layer. I'm going to put make it white it could be any color let me just show you let's put it at pink because it doesn't matter because we're, we're going to use a gradient overlay to to change the color of the background anyways so to do this we're going to right click the layer go up to blending options then gradient overlay and I had already done it before because I did it when I created the first one, but let's show you how it's done. Ensure that gradient overlay layer is selected and you know that it's selected with, with this layer um, highlighted and ensure that it is ticked. In this section, you want, you're going to select the gradient, but before you do that, ensure that the blending mode is on normal, the style is on radial, so it could be linear or radial, and then you're going to select this color here. And this is where you would choose the colors that you want. So if we wanted to make it um, blue, we'd select the first color, then select the color picker and make it blue. Okay, and you see it's being changed there. And then the inner part, so that's what radial um, gradient does it, it it has the gradient flowing from the outer outer section to the inner section of the design linear it's from left to right top to bottom from one side to the other side and then select the other point choose the color and we can make that a light red so of course obviously it's not blue that we want I just did this for demonstration purpose so select this the starting point and then we're going to make it red 
sort of a dark red so it's flowing from dark red to really light red hit ok and then hit ok so now we're going to reduce the opacity of that layer with the white background layer beneath it good and now we're going to add this font which is taken from the bible but the greatest of these is love and it comes from the book of corinthians so let's grab our font alt drag it down select our text tool and, and quotation but <coughs> all caps but the greatest of these is love and then control a or command a and i'm going to reduce the font size so that it fits on our page uh, And also, I'm going to make the love larger and italic. So select the text tool, highlight just the word love, go over to our character options here, and we're going to increase the font size and also make it italic and bold. Hit OK. Now we can perhaps reduce the size of this line good so I'm going to bring down the the, the the layer here and also I'm going to select all that we did here the hearts and the happy valentines and bring them lower so select from the faded hearts all the way here bring it down so that it's centered and then select this quotation bring it a bit higher and then we're going to grab our logo so which is this logo here Steel's greetings and if you don't know Steel's greetings you can check out our website steelsgreetings.com we create a lot of customized um, wedding stationery and other products so you can give it a, a look and feel free to give me some feedback all right so select the topmost layer and then we're going to command v to paste in our logo size it up and then I'm, I'm using the arrow keys to bring it a bit higher and center it and then hit apply All right i'm going to reduce the opacity of this gradient background some more mm -hmm. i think it's a bit too strong all right good so now we're going to go back to our logo layer let's call it logo and i'm going to add a drop shadow a white drop shadow just so that it's more visible so drop shadow and ensure that it's a normal white and we can increase the opacity or lower it as we see fit for me this looks good okay and then i'm going to size up the logo a bit and recenter it And you could say that I'm pretty much done, but the last two things that I'm going to do, I'm going to actually add this slightly glass look, these lines, and also we see some bit of texture taking place here. So I went ahead and searched for the texture. This is the texture that I found. Um, you can choose any texture that you want. So I, all I did, I searched Google background textures. So copy. Go back into Photoshop. So just above the gradient layer, I'm going to paste this one. So Command V or Control V, 
and then you're going to scale it up so that it covers the entire um, document. And it will be a very subtle effect. Hit OK. And then just above that, I'm going to use a hue and saturation layer, um, adjustment layer. And I'm going to clip it. So clipping it will allow this to affect only this, the layer directly beneath it. And I'm going to change it until it's red. Okay. So this looks good. And then I'm going to now select the texture layer and I'm going to perhaps put it on screen and see what I get. Yes, and this looks good. And I'm also going to reduce the opacity of it so that it's not so strong. And then lastly, I'm going to go and get the glass overlay layer. So search glass overlay. Copy, jump back into Photoshop, and then above everything, above the logo, everything, I'm going to Control V, Command V, paste it, and scale it up. Bring it a bit higher. All right, hit apply, and then we're going to change the blend mode to screen. And then reduce the opacity so that it's subtle. And there we have it, a real simple, quick way to make a Valentine's post for your business page. And, you know, you can send this out in an email to, to let your persons know that you know you're celebrating with them all right so if you enjoyed this tutorial please hit the like button below also the notification bell and we look forward to your comments peace out take care